This is the Think Maths Guide to Solving the Rubik's Cube, Step 3, the Edge Swap. Okay, so you've now got one face completely solved, uh, and you've done it so that if you look around the edge, you can see that all the other ones over here line up perfectly, uh, so you get all the same colour on their correct face. Uh, the next step now, as we work down the Rubik's Cube, is to get these four edges in the correct place. And once we've done those, you'll have the whole second layer completed, and then we can move on to the last one. Okay, now, to get these edges into place, uh, we do pretty much what we did before. There's a sequence called the edge swap. And so, uh, this one here, let's say, we need to get the red-blue edge and move it into position. And where's the red-blue edge? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So, we take this red-blue edge, we put it underneath where we want it, and then we do the edge swap. So, if we bring that around over there, well... This is a bit silly, right? Because you can't put it directly underneath. It's going to have to go to one side or the other. And what we do is we always put it on the side where the colors match. And so over here, that doesn't match. Over there, it does match. And so put it over there. Uh, we're now going to do the edge swap sequence. And there are actually two edge swap sequences. There's edge swap one and edge swap two. Uh, and to move this up into place, you start with the Rubik's Cube uh, facing you so that the edge where you want it to end up is on your left and then you do well in this case we're going to do edge swap two first and edge swap two is you take the down one and you go anti-clockwise you then take the front face and you go anti-clockwise and you kind of undo that so the down one goes clockwise front face goes clockwise and as you can see uh, that has not helped in the slightest but we're now going to do edge swap one which again you start with the down but this time you go clockwise you then take the one on the left and go clockwise and then you kind of undo those so the bottom one you come back anti-clockwise the one on the left you go back up anti-clockwise and there you are it's moved from over here up into position over there okay so let's try the next one uh, let's do green and orange. So there's the green and orange edge. We want to go up there. It lines up uh, this way. Uh, and then we position it so where it ends up is on the left. Now this time, last time it was over there. And we did edge swap 2, then edge swap 1. And it ends up over here. To go from there to here, you just do 1 first and then 2. So if we do 1 first, uh, so it's clockwise, clockwise, anti, anti. And then we do 2, so anti, anti clockwise clockwise there it is and so you always start we'll do uh, one more quickly okay so this we want the red green one it line doesn't line up there it lines up there we want it to go over there so that's one first followed by two and there it is uh, if we do the last one where's the last one oh okay so oh, again it's on the front face we want it to go from here to here so we do one first and then we do two uh, and once you learn these, you can do them pretty quickly, uh, and you'll now have the top layer and the middle layer completely solved. Uh, two quick points on things that can go wrong when you're doing the edge swaps. Uh, one thing that can go wrong is if you're looking for the orange and green one, and you go, where's the orange and green one? Oh, wait a minute. It's over here. It's already on another one of the edges, or possibly even worse, uh, you find one that is in the correct position, but it's the wrong way around. So this is where the orange-blue one should go, but it's the wrong way around. In both those two cases, what you need to do is knock this edge piece out first, and then put it back in from scratch. And so uh, you get another bit you don't really care about, so this is some random edge that happens to be there. I'm going to put it up there instead. So that's move one, followed by move two. So that one's now up there, and it's knocked out. Where is it? Okay, over here now, we've got the uh, orange and blue, and we can now put that here, and then move it back up to be the position that we want it to be.